Hey, what up, what up, what up? Hey, um, just wanted to do this quick video. Uh, this is regarding one of my uh, friends, quote unquote friends that I used to work with uh, when I was in Phoenix. Uh, he's an older white gentleman, maybe like 40, 45, somewhere around there. And, uh, you know, basically he doesn't see anything wrong with this post that he put up. And um, it's kind of hilarious to me. Now, this is the reason why, you know, if you've got white friends and everything, you got to be quite aware that, you know, regardless of how friendly to you they are, they've got white thoughts. And, you know, that's just basically how it goes. Now, check this out. So he put a post basically saying, the, you know, you can read it for yourself. This is what, this is the message that this actually sends, regardless of what he says in this message. Basically, you know, you got to look, Obama, Black Panthers, radical America-hating group, hate crimes, do anything they want, get by with it. It's time to start killing white bitches and their babies. They can do anything they want and get away with it, basically, is his, his whole thing. And then he's got a picture of a black guy right here, okay? And, you know, he doesn't think that there's anything wrong with that. He thinks he's speaking the truth. These black people are on the attack. They're trying to get us. First of all, you know, that, that post or that, uh, that video that you, you're seeing nowadays, that's from, what, 2008? Might even be 2007, I'm not sure, but I know it was at least 2008 when when that was said. It was said by one guy, and I think he was, he's up northeast somewhere, probably like Philadelphia or New York or something. I don't even know where he's at, okay? And this dude is harping on that, you know? What are you talking about, 2008? So, you know, I'm like, you must be crazy because I've never seen him be outraged over anything, on at least on Facebook or in person. OK, so he doesn't have any outrage over uh, Shan Sean Hannity and Hal Turner. No outrage over Rush Limbaugh. And later, he says he hasn't listened to Rush in years. But I saw on his Facebook page where he's got a post about Rush Limbaugh and that that one white chick that, uh, you know, he called a slut. And he's basically supporting Rush on that. He didn't have any outrage over Trayvon Martin. And it might just be because he hadn't heard about it because that didn't start getting talked about until the last couple of days or so that I saw. You know, he didn't, you know, he doesn't have any outrage about anything that white people do that's racist. He needs a black face for him to get upset or, uh, a, you know, a person of color for him to get upset. So, you know, I'll give you an example. You know, this guy does not have any clue. You know what? Let me, I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to need to restart because my uh, program only records for like two or three minutes at a time. So, so you know, I had to stop the tape here real quick. But um, so next thing I know, I've got like... Uh, you know, a flashlight in my face telling me to pull over. I haven't done anything. All right. So I pull over. I've got cops, you know, several cops coming up to me, you know, basically treat me in a completely disrespectful manner for no reason whatsoever. They search my car. They don't find anything. I got a, a plain clothes coming up disrespecting me. I mean, these guys were just disrespectful for no reason whatsoever. So with me, if you disrespect me, you know, you basically have brought out the hate. I hate you. So, you know, these guys give me a ticket for having tent on the front window. Now, the tent that was on the front window was clear. It's, it was only on the window to, to block UV rays, which actually, if you didn't know, that if you have clear tent that blocks UV rays, it makes your car a lot cooler. But, uh, and, but you know, they gave me a ticket for that. So, you know, that I, I really, you know, that was a first bad experience with San Jose po uh, Police Department. Had a couple of other really bad experiences with the San Jose Police Department is well, actually one other one because I forgot I already talked about the first time I was pulled over. So, you know, those three incidents basically created a hate that I still have towards the San Jose Police Department that you wouldn't believe. I mean, I I drove past a uh, police officer. You know, I had all these police cars just flying by me with the sirens on. They're just flying by me. And when I got up, there was an accident where I was like, oh, that's the reason why they were reacting that way. Well, apparently, I don't know what happened, but a police car had basically been turned into a tuna can from an accident. And I did. I was like, shit, I'm on my way. I don't even give a damn about that fool. No prayers for you. I'm out. I did not care whether that fool lived or died. Screw his ass. And then another time, you know, this kind of scared me. This might have even changed me. I rolled by a uh, memorial for a police officer and laughed and said, that's what you get. Because you know your monkey ass did something disrespectful to somebody and you got what was coming to your ass. Which, to me, you know, that scared me. So from kind of that point on, actually, I don't even think it was from that point on. I think that's just the way I was. I just started to respect people. 
and carry myself in a manner that if you're disrespectful to me, it can't be me. It has to be you. There's got to be something wrong with you if you disrespect me. And I've basically noticed that, you know, people have have acted a certain way towards me and, and they've been controlled to a certain extent. But, you know, everyone doesn't have that personality. OK, you think the reason why I brought up the, the story about the police. Now, if you take a look at someone who's living in a predominantly black neighborhood that's under constant attack from like Arabs bringing in alcohol, white people bringing in drugs and guns. You know, if you're in one of those areas where you're under constant attack and you got police officers messing with you all the time. That's going to create a, a, a sort of a hate that you really can't understand when you got someone oppressing you, disrespecting you on a daily basis. That's going to create a hate that you have no idea. Now, that's the reason why you got the Nation of Islam and you got the National Black Panther Party. Neo-Nazis are hateful just because they're hateful. There's nobody harassing them. There's nobody being disrespectful to them. So you cannot compare neo-Nazis in the Nation of Islam at all, okay? you. So to me, me and this guy, we really don't have anything else to talk about. Because he doesn't put any thought, he doesn't have any experience. We don't have anything to talk about. So I'm not going to reply to his message. We're done. I'm just going to put that in my pocket. I know how you are. So what am I going to do with this information that I'm putting in my pocket? Well, I don't really think that it's worth a whole lot of time to try to convince white people of anything. So I'm not even going to bother with that. So I'm not I'm not even going to bother with replying to my, my friend here. I'm just going to allow him to, to have his thoughts because th there is no changing this guy's mind unless we were to actually kidnap his ass, paint him black and throw him in like a black community. <laughs> there's, there's really no way that he's going to understand where we're coming from. So we don't even need to worry about this. You know how he's saying that he doesn't you know, he thinks Sean Hannity made a very, very poor decision. He doesn't think Hannity dislikes or hates anyone based on ethnicity, religion, etc. I mean, how naive does it get? You know, so at this point, you know, you just got to let that go and not worry about, about him because he doesn't even realize that he's selective in his outrage. But, you know, both of us know, you and I, you the listener, me the blabber, we both know that unless there's a black or colored face, He's not going to be outright outraged by anything. And that's that's the majority of white society. You just have to deal with it. So what do you what do you do? So basically what you have to do is put yourself in a position to where you're carrying yourself with a certain amount of integrity. The integrity of the black community has been under constant attack. It's been under a barrage. And we know who's the, the ones that's doing it. If you take a look, I mean, people get angry at me when I say the rap music is the major cause of, you know, black society's downfall they get mad Arnold Schwarzenegger he's killing people the bottom line is with rap music you know the 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 main thing about that is the person that's doing the rapping is supposed to be a real person okay Arnold Schwarzenegger when he's playing in Total Recall is not a real person okay so Tupac real person Jim Jones why did I say Jim Jones I don't know but Jim Jones real person Lil Wayne real person doing real things okay this is how this guy is in real life. So people look at rappers uh, with a certain amount of respect. Now, when they when they hear rappers making this money by being disrespectful, evil, and rude, doing drugs and and just being a fucking clown, then you know that has more of an effect than you know, say Wesley Snipes and Blade taking down some vampires. You know what I'm saying? So. What what really needs to happen in, in uh, rap society is these people like uh, Lil Wayne or Nicki Minaj need to be exposed as the agents they are. You know, these guys are, they're agents. That's what they are. And people don't look at them that way. But anyway, I'm, I'm kind of uh, rambling here. So let me kind of scroll down on this so that you can read the rest of this uh, message that dude uh, put if you want to read it. But anyway, I'm out of here. Oh, look at me. I actually... Uh, highlighted the elitists are having their way because I was laughing at that part. And the reason why I was laughing is because um, unless, uh, you know, white people are feeling the pain, they don't realize that whites are elitists. But anyway. <laughs>